Welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the best ways to progress in Boom Beach. So over my Boom Beach career, I have mentored so many Boom Beach players. By the way, I do that a lot on our Discord server, which you need to be 13 or older to join. A link is down below. That's just per Discord rules. But anyway, I'm gonna be showing you the top tips I've learned for any level player for playing Boom Beach and how to progress the fastest way. There's no doubt it takes a really long time to max out your base, but I'm gonna be showing you ways to max out your base faster and that is how I am viewing progression. Upgrading your base, getting a higher experience level. Let me know down below if I've missed anything, but let's jump into it. The number one thing that you need to know is upgrade order, and there's a very specific upgrade order you need to follow. If you can upgrade your sculptor at any time, you need to upgrade it. Getting another statue slot is worth anything. Upgrade your sculptor. After your sculptor, you have to upgrade your vault. Seriously, max out your vault, max out your sculptor for every single HQ level. That is the reason I'm gonna be giving you this next advice, which is rush your headquarters. Don't worry about defenses. You'll understand what that means in a second, but upgrade order, sculptor, vault, and then it gets a little shady. You could do landing crabs, you could do gumbo, you could do radar, you could do armory. So if the troop you use and the meta you use, so I'm talking about gumbo abilities and troop slash troops. If you maxed them out for your current armory level, then try to prioritize upgrading your armory above everything. So you can see here, I've been using tanks. If we go to my armory, I can upgrade my tanks if I had enough gold and I pushed for it. So there's really no need for me to upgrade my armory right now. I'm gonna focus my resources on something more tangible maybe like landing crabs or something now a bunch of boom beach players will tell you defenses last and i don't really know how i feel about that i'm i'm just not a huge fan of your resource production buildings so residences and like sawmill and stuff i'm not a huge fan of them i could be swayed but i kind of feel like you might want to upgrade your your defenses just a little bit you know i when I started Boom Beach, I was all about those low level defenses, but now I feel like a higher level defense is probably a little bit better than your residences. But defenses are after landing crabs. After your landing crabs are all maxed out, after your vault, armory, sculptor, and radar are all maxed out, and you don't have a storage issue, well, I would probably max out your storages for every level just because you have to do it eventually. But after that, upgrade your defenses until you can upgrade your headquarters again get just enough experience to upgrade your headquarters then upgrade your headquarters there's no point in not upgrading your headquarters so i know i'm tossing you a lot of information about progression but a lot of it is due to your upgrade order and having an offense is way better than having a defense and another aspect that plays into offense is your statues bring either purple or red statues. And if I had to give you my honest opinion, get as many resource reward guardians and a masterpiece as you possibly can. It's unbelievable how much it helps you. When I was pushing my main account to max out, when I started Boom Beach, I had like seven or eight resource reward guardians in Boom Beach and it helped so much. I had over 100% on boosted resource reward, and it allowed me to get the world record for loot. I'm just, I don't, I'm just saying. It's really, really helpful. So if you're pushing with the offense meta I'm giving you, another big aspect is attacking. You need to be attacking if you're gonna be doing the upgrade meta, and personally, I found that doing, like, two to three attacks a day makes the offense strategy better than the defensive strategy. And the defensive strategy would say upgrade your defenses, or you could play the support strategy, I guess, which is get green statues, but you know how boom tubers feel about green statues. <laughs> we don't like them. We like literally no boom beach YouTuber likes green statues and no high level boom beach player that knows the game well has green statues. I see maxed out players all the time having green statues boosted up. And I'm just like, what are you doing? Some people might drop them just because they look cool. A guy commented that once. He said, I have I have, re or I have green statues just because they look good. And I was like, okay, it's your game. 
and uh, it's not gonna stop you from progressing it's just not the most efficient way to progress which is what I'm trying to get at so upgrading use a strategy that you really really enjoy using I like warriors I like tanks I'm gonna upgrade warriors tanks shock bombs flares and smokes that's like the combination that's the troop meta I'm gonna upgrade that's a troop meta I'm gonna use and um, yeah I would suggest having so now that we've covered upgrade order armory upgrade order statue loadout attacking troop combinations to use one thing I would like to point out is I wouldn't really upgrade troops you're not using currently especially when you're trying to progress just because there's so many things you can spend gold on you have so many different combinations you can use like I said pick between two combinations you like using either tanks and warriors or <laughs> tanks and warriors <laughs> at a low level once you unlock bombardiers you know upgrade bombardiers now I think it's okay to upgrade other troops to keep them kind of in line but if you have that's only if you have extra gold spend your gold on like upgrading your heroes which is another thing and once you start unlocking tribes max out your tribes because that's very very helpful and it makes attacking and destroying npc bases way better <laughs> way more efficient take advantage of the daily events and take advantage of mega crab imitation game is the best time to get loot it's the best time to get magma magma power stones it's an amazing time in boom beach and it's so good and it helps you so much to develop so definitely take advantage of it definitely jump on during imitation game and do as many battles and as many stages as you can so that being said i also want to move on to base designs because i'm going to be talking about base designs next because this is too this is not good this is a not good base design so we're going to be talking about base designs in my next video so please stick around for that and that's another part of progression but this base design crazy easy to flank having a good base design even if your defense is not very high level is still helpful it's still going to help you one thing you have to realize is higher level players are always going to be attacking your base and they're always going to be able to beat your base so why focus on defense is what i is what tons of boom beach players say it's all about the offense game. I know this video has turned into me just speaking offense, but so many people of all levels are commenting saying, what should I upgrade? What statues should I use? What should I upgrade in my armory? Like how should, like what's the best way to gain XP in Boom Beach? And these, these are the ways you do that. It's progression. It's playing the game and being active. Another set of progression I really like is warships. Now as a maxed out player that only plays warships on my maxed out account, it's hard to see how that correlates to progression, but you get so much loot from warships, guys. Like, just joining the season alone gets you, like, 50 diamonds and some um, some tickets. Like, it's really good. And the chess warships give you are also really good. So definitely jump on warships. Definitely um, do some attacks and at least start the season because starting the season is half the battle. Okay, I couldn't go this entire video without mentioning one of the biggest things I see that helps people, and that's instant training. I'm not a huge fan of extra builder. I'm going to get to that in a quick second. But instant training is incredibly helpful. I used to spend, when I was pushing, like $100 a week on troops, and now I can spend $10 a month on troops. So if you're going to spend money, don't spend them on diamonds. Spend them on instant training because instant training is so helpful. And if you do, use code COSMIC in the shop. But anyway, about Extra Builder. I don't like Extra Builder. I have issues with Extra Builder. Most people don't have enough resources and enough bases on their map to make Extra Builder worth it once, once you're in the mid-game level. Now, if I got Extra Builder on this account, it would be amazing for four days until I clear my map, and then I'm only upgrading small things. So I guess if you're trying to upgrade a bunch of small things, maybe you need a bunch of levels for the next hq upgrade you've upgraded all your offense and now you just have to upgrade your defense then okay you can convince me to get extra builder to upgrade all your low level defenses but i would not say get extra builder if you're trying to get your lane and crabs done it's incredibly hard to farm up three million of each loot trying to get like level 
I don't know, 22 landing crafts. <laughs> like, it's so hard. So I just don't like Extra Builder because it's only worth it if you can keep them going at all times. Otherwise, it's not worth it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video of all these different tips I've given you. If you did, please drop a like. Let me know down below if you think I've missed any that people should know about, and I'll drop you a heart if I really think it's important so other people seeing it can get more tips. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Also use code COSMIC. That's a big tip.